Star Trek The Original Series debuted more than 55 years ago, the inaugural offering in what would eventually become one of the most iconic sci-fi franchises of all time was created by the legendary Gene Roddenberry and produced by Desilu Productions. When Star Trek first debuted on NBC in 1966, it wasn't successful, ratings were low and ad revenue was less than expected. After airing for 79 episodes over three seasons, Star Trek got the axe. But after entering into syndication, it enjoyed record-breaking success and took on a new life as its fan base grew from the late 60s through the 70s. Sadly, quite a few of the original series' cast members have passed away. Join Facts First as we take a moment to show our respects to the actors and actresses who were instrumental in introducing the Western world to the final frontier of space. Nichelle Nichols Born Grace Dell Nichols, Nichelle portrayed communications officer Uhura on Star Trek The Original Series. Her addition to the cast was groundbreaking for African-American actresses on TV. Notably, she shared one of the first interracial kisses to be broadcast on television in the episode Plato's Stepchildren. That moment, which she shared with her co-star, William Shatner, was an act of great courage on her part. While that kiss was quite significant, Nichols's performance across the board was quite powerful. Uhura was a very capable officer who was able to man pretty much any station on the bridge when she needed to. As such, she was one of the first black women to be featured in a non-menial role on TV. Nicholas played Uhura on the original Star Trek series throughout all three seasons, in addition to voicing her on Star Trek The Animated Series. She later reprised her role in the first six Star Trek movies. After Star Trek, Nichols was employed by NASA, where from 1977 to 2015, she volunteered her time to promote NASA's various programs while recruiting diverse astronauts, including people of color and women. Nichelle died of heart failure July 30th, 2022, at age 89, at her home in Silver City, New Mexico, making her the most recent cast member to have passed away. James Doohan James Doohan brought life and a great deal of soul to the character of Chief Engineer Montgomery Scott, a.k.a. Scotty. James's portrayal of the Enterprise's biggest fanboy and miracle worker is a cornerstone of the Star Trek universe. Shockingly, we learned in the documentary Inside Star Trek, The Real Story, that Gene Roddenberry nearly fired him following his debut in the show's second pilot episode, Where No Man Has Gone Before. Fortunately, Gene decided to keep him around, and James went on to become an integral part of all three seasons of the series. He went on to reprise his role in Star Trek The Animated Series, seven of the Trek feature films, and even in a sixth season episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. For the remainder of his life, James dedicated the majority of his time to Star Trek and its fandom. During his later years, he could be frequently seen attending Star Trek and sci-fi conventions. In 2004, however, Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease forced him to drop out of the spotlight. He passed away a little over a year later on July 20th, 2005, at age 79. Leonard Nimoy Leonard Simon Nimoy was born March 26, 1931. He rose to international fame when he was cast as First Officer and Chief Science Officer Spock in the historical Star Trek series. For the next 50 years, Nimoy continued to portray the stoic half-human, half-Vulcan in continuations of the Star Trek franchise. In addition to acting, he also directed films like Star Trek III, The Search for Spock, and Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home. Nimoy is notable for being the only character who survived past Gene Roddenberry's first Star Trek pilot episode, The Cage. Over the course of the series, the cool, logical, and Emmy Award-nominated Spock became the show's most popular character. In 2014, Nimoy revealed he'd been diagnosed with COPD, a condition that was attributed to the many years he spent smoking. Even though he quit in the 80s, the damage had already been done. On February 25, 2015, Nimoy slipped into a coma after seeking medical attention for chest pains at UCLA Medical Center a little over a week prior. He passed away at his home in Bel Air two days later at age 83. DeForest Kelly DeForest was an actor, poet, screenwriter, and singer best known for his role as Chief Medical Officer Dr. Leonard Bones McCoy of the USS Enterprise on Star Trek, the original series. He was born in 1920 in Georgia and decided to pursue an acting career after serving in the Second World War. He landed his first film role in the 1946 movie Fear in the Night. Following that, Kelly appeared in a steady stream of film, stage, and TV roles, frequently being cast as villains. After landing his role on Star Trek, Kelly devoted the 
majority of his acting career to the franchise. In addition to appearing in the original series, he also appeared in six Star Trek films, voiced his character in the animated series, and made a brief cameo on the first episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. Kelly died of stomach cancer at age 79 on June 11, 1999. Jeffrey Hunter before William Shatner's Captain Kirk took center seat on the Enterprise's bridge, Captain Christopher Pike, played by Jeffrey Hunter, was at the helm, albeit briefly. Hunter played Captain Pike in the first Star Trek pilot episode, The Cage, but after NBC requested a second pilot, Hunter declined to return. Rumor has it Hunter's wife at the time played a significant role in his decision. Regardless, this forced Gene Roddenberry to give the newly created role of Captain James T. Kirk to Shatner. Captain Pike remained a major addition to Star Trek canon. Recently, the character was brought back in the Star Trek Discovery spin-off series, Strange New Worlds. Pike is portrayed by Anson Mount. After Star Trek, Hunter continued to work in films and TV, but tragically suffered a massive brain hemorrhage May 26, 1969, at his home in California. Following the hemorrhage, Hunter fell down a flight of stairs and fractured his skull. He died the following morning at age 42. Majel Barrett Roddenberry Sometimes referred to as the First Lady of Star Trek, Barrett bears the unique distinction among Star Trek cast members of being the wife of series creator Gene Roddenberry. She's played a number of characters throughout the Star Trek universe, but on the original series, she portrayed Nurse Christine Chapel. She voiced that same character in the animated series and appeared in two of the Trek films. In the first pilot, she played Christopher Pike's second-in-command, Una Chin Riley, commonly known as Number One. In Star Trek The Next Generation and Deep Space Nine, she played the character Loaxana Troy. Additionally, she provided the voice of the onboard computer interfaces featured in the franchise from 1966 to 2009. After a long and fulfilling career, Majel died of leukemia December 18, 2008 at her home in Bel Air. Grace Lee Whitney this actress appeared as yeoman Janice Rand in eight episodes of Star Trek The Original Series. Despite her short tenure, yeoman is still seen as being one of the most memorable characters from the show's early days. Halfway through production of season one, Whitney was released from her contract. Several reasons have been presented, including budget cuts and the network's desire to allow Kirk to pursue other women without her being around. Whitney later revealed a sexual assault perpetrated by a studio executive might have contributed as well. She briefly reprised her role in three Star Trek movies and remained a popular celebrity guest on the Star Trek convention circuit. Before Star Trek, she had already found success as an actress and singer and continued to work afterwards as well. After surviving substance abuse, Whitney spent a large chunk of her later years helping others on their path to recovery. She passed away from natural causes at age 85 in 2015. Now it's time to hear from you. Who's your favorite character from the original Star Trek? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.